Just more than two weeks after US President Joe Biden ended his own presidential effort and thrust Vice President Kamala Harris to the top of the Democratic Party, Harris has chosen her own number two. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will be her running mate. Nobel laureate Muhammad Yunus has been appointed as head of Bangladesh's interim government. Meanwhile, following an all-party meeting convened by the centre, Dr. S. J. Shankar addressed the Rajya Sabha on the ongoing political crisis in Bangladesh and said that the government is monitoring the situation with regard to the status of minorities. In the United Kingdom, more than 400 people have been arrested in connection with the rioting over the last week. Prime Minister Keir Starmer has promised communities will be safe following a COBRA meeting on Tuesday evening and also said that those taking part in the unrest will feel the full force of the law. Hamas says it has chosen Yahya Sinwar, its top official in Gaza, as the new leader of its political bureau. The selection of Sinwar follows Ismail Haniyeh's assassination in Tehran. The leader of Hezbollah has pledged a strong and effective response to the killing of its military commander by Israel last week, no matter the consequences, and said Hezbollah would act either alone or with its regional allies. Taiwan's defence budget will reach an all-time high of nearly $20 billion next year, President Lai ching te has announced. Taipei is seeking to bolster its defence capabilities as China, which claims a self-governing island, ramps up military pressure and rhetoric.